Hi everyone, in this video I am explaining about the concept of tariff methods. Types of tariffs. First one is flat rate tariff, block rate tariff, two part tariff, three part tariff, power factor tariff. Flat rate tariff. The tariff is different for different types of consumers. In this, the consumers are divided into various classes or groups. The tariff for each group or class is fixed separately. Examples of these classes or groups are residential loads, commercial loads, small industrial loads and mega industrial loads etc. The rate for each group of consumer is fixed by consideration of load factor and diversity factor. The expression for this flat rate tariff is A into X. A tends to the flat rate is A per unit. X tends to the energy consumed by the consumer during the billing period. It is given as in this the charge for the consumer is the energy consumed during the billing period is X units and the flat rate is rupees A per unit then charges are rupees A into X. Block rate tariff In this tariff method, usage of electrical energy is divided into blocks. The electrical energy of a particular blocks are charged at a particular rate and the succeeding blocks are charged at progressively reducing rates. Blocks and price per unit. 0 to 100 is considered as first block and it is and the rate or the price for this 0 to 100 units is 2 per unit and for the second block we are considering 101 to 200 and for this block the price per unit is 1.90 and the third block that is 201 to 300 units the price per unit that is 1.80 and the fourth block is 301 to 400 and the price per unit is 1.70 in this used for this one is used for residential and small type of consumers two part tariff the price or rate of electrical energy is fixed by the maximum demand and energy consumed it has two components one is fixed charges and the second one is running charges or variable charges this fixed charges is depending on the maximum demand and plant capacity and this running charges or variable charges it is depending on the number of units consumed for this two part tariff the expression is total charges is equal to rupees a into kilowatt plus b into kilowatt hour a tends to the charges per kilowatt of maximum demand, B tends to the charges per kilowatt hour of energy consumed. 3 part tariff In this tariff, total charges are split into 3 parts. Fixed charges plus semi fixed charges plus running charges. For this, the expression you are given for the total charges is equal to A plus B into kilowatt plus C into kilowatt hour. 
A tends to the fixture charges made during the billing period. B tends to the charges per kilowatt of maximum demand. C tends to the charges per kilowatt hour of maximum energy consumed. Power factor tariff. When the power factor of the consumer loads are taken into consideration, then the tariff is known as power factor tariff. In AC system, efficiency of the plant and equipment not only depending on the kilowatt but also on the power factor. That means the power factor plays a major role in AC systems. So to increase the utility of the plant to a maximum, the plant must be operated at most economical power factor. In this power factor tariff, we are having the three types of power factor tariffs. One is KVA maximum demand tariff. Second one, kilowatt hour and kilovolt ampere reactive hour tariff. Third one, sliding scale or average power factor tariff. The first one that is the kilovolt ampere maximum demand tariff. It is a modified form of two-part tariff. In this case, maximum demand is measured in kilovolt ampere instead of kilowatt. In this type of tariff, the consumers to operate their machines and other equipment at improved power factor because low power factor will cause us more demand charges. For this, the expression is total charges is equal to rupees A into kilowatt plus B into kilowatt hour. The second one, kilowatt hour and kilovolt ampere reactive hour tariff. In this type of tariff, kilowatt hour and kilovolt ampere reactive hour are measured and charged separately. Since kilovolt ampere reactive hour decreases with increase in power factor, therefore, the consumer tries to improve the power factor of his installation in order to decrease the charges on account of kilovolt ampere reactive hour recorded. The third one, sliding scale or average power factor tariff. In this case, an average power factor, say 0.8 power factor is taken as reference. When power factor is falls down the, down the, um, average value 0.8 the additional charges is added if the power factor is above the reference a discount is allowed to the consumers thank you